Oh, I think I le deadlifted a Buick. Oh. Morning class. All right, so today we're just getting back in from a three-day weekend. Labor Day weekend was this past weekend. Lots of lots of work around the house, around other people's houses. And so I'm 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 tired today. I gotta say, uh, what I gotta cover. I, I hope I remember when I look at my lesson plans that I printed off the day before. I printed off on uh, uh, Friday. Uh, yeah, because I've got I've got no clue what I'm going to do today. I uh, hope I'll figure So today's topic in how to not suck at teaching is you're not a doctor. Let's get into the, as, as the school year progresses on, kids get injured, things happen during the school day. You are not a doctor and do keep that in mind that, uh, that you're not a doctor, you're not a licensed medical physician, uh, because there are some teachers who do have their doctorate. However, it is the doctorate in education, not doctorate in medicine. As a, as a regular school teacher, you cannot prescribe medication or anything else for anybody, and you cannot forget that, because that, that's, that's when the whole world comes crashing around you. That's why anytime that uh, I, I hear stories of, especially like me, art teacher, uh, they get, somebody gets a cut, they get a scrape, they get something, you have to, you can give them a Band-Aid, that's fine, uh, but that's as far as you can go. You can't do peroxide, you can't do neosporin, you can't do anything like that. You can give them a Band-Aid, that's all you can do. Uh, and then after you do that, you then have to A, B, send them to the office to write out, fill out a form. You have to fill out a form. You need to call the parent. These are things that you got to remember because you are not the medical professional. You're just somebody reporting as to what happened. Because uh, pe people get cut, especially like my class um, where we're using X-Acto knives or a big paper cutter. Now, you do everything you can and go through as many times policy as how not to hold an exacto knife what not to do on the paper cutter don't cut a can this way don't do this don't do that and most part you're, you're everybody's fine however there are those times where something happens and the best way to take care of it is in the least uh invasive way possible and trying to be as uh subtle as possible and how everything's covered covered with a band-aid let them go make a phone call you make a phone call do that do that due diligence and everything's fine after that but it is one of those like until you do it or you have to do it kind of thing it is a problem or not i don't want to say a problem it's a it's a scary situation to be in for an educator because you know somebody got hurt under your watch you don't want that you would never want that on your own child you never want that with any of your friends kids you don't you you don't want that but things do happen and you just got to roll with the punches and know that ahead of time everything's cool kosher and just you did what you were supposed to do me i always take it a step above i always like to make little intro little mini videos put them up on my site put them up on uh, the main channel, Tri-Fire Studios. Put them up on either one of those because then I've got it published. I've got something out there that this is how I do, how I run things in my class so that way I'm covered on a few extra ends where the parents can see how I'm instructing the child to, to do something, how the student can see how I'm starting to do something. And it's consistent. Everything's the same all the time. Uh, sometimes I might have to tweak it year to year depending on uh, the administration or if a new policy comes out. But it's nice to have those little uh, things in my wheelhouse ready to go at the moment's notice so that I can make sure that I've done everything I'm supposed to do and then maybe a little bit extra just to make sure that I'm safe on all bases. But it's just one of those things that'll come. What else we got to talk about? Uh, today, I know we got to start slab design in ceramics class and how to use slab technique. Surface design, we need to finish up some calligraphy stuff. I think it's as, as I get closer to the school building itself, it's like, oh, I got to do this this week. I got to do this, which is nice. It's, uh, it's handy. So yeah, slabs for ceramics and calligraphy for surface. And I also got to start coming up with next uh, semester's lessons. I definitely want to do cosplay. I definitely think that would be fun. I want to do cosplay. That's going to be cool. All right, other than that, I think uh, I think that's it. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys this afternoon. All right. See you guys next class. Mm -hmm.